Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the figure shows fixed circle C1, which we have here in blue, with equation x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1, and a shrinking circle C2 with radius r, and center the origin such that p is the point 0 r right here. We're asked what happens to r as C2 shrinks, where capital R is this point out here, where we take p, and we take the point where the two circles intersect, and we draw a line, and wherever that line goes, where it hits the x-axis is r. So we're basically saying, if we shrink the circle, let's say we take this circle right here, not a perfect circle, obviously, if we take the new r and the point of intersection right here, where does the new r go? So if we go here, it goes somewhere about there. And this is a very visual thing that we have to look at. It's very hard to say, okay, the circle is that big, where is r? We have to understand it's okay, this is where r becomes if this is the size of the circle. If the circle is this size, then this is the point of intersection, this is R, and the new capital R is right there. And I'll do one more circle, even though it's gonna be pretty hard to see, that is gonna be the R there. So we have one, two, three, four circles, and R goes in one, two, three times as we're going in. Therefore, as this radius shrinks to zero, R is gonna to go to the origin. Therefore, this value of r, this x value, so as little r, this value goes to 0, r also approaches 0. And they're both coming at it in the positive quadrant. These are both positive values as we approach. Therefore, it's also from the right. And again, there isn't a super clear way to do this um, using the equation of the circle or anything like that. It's to graph in circles, even if they're not perfect, and see where this point goes.